So I don't like to spend a ton of time in the kitchen cooking or chopping up things. And I've noticed that from working with clients that a lot of people either don't really enjoy it, not saying definitely, some people definitely do, but there's a lot of people that I've worked with who are like, hey, I just don't wanna spend time cooking. I don't wanna spend hours in the kitchen. Uh, and also some people just don't have as much time to put towards that. So I thought it would be helpful to take three of like kind of my staple meals that you could prepare pr pretty quickly that are gonna give you a good dose of protein, uh, some fruits, some veggies, and uh, yeah, so here they are. Let me move over here. So, and, and with, with all of these things, uh, you can modify like whatever I show here based on your goal. So based on like, you know, you, with the amount of calories that you need to eat for your goals, the amount of protein that you need to eat for your goals, and then just based on how you like to eat. So these are just mostly meant to serve as like templates. So, you know, if I added cheese to something, you can you know, take the cheese off to cut calories. Or, yeah, yeah, I'll just get into it. So, here is number one. So right now, uh, I'm just not super hungry in the morning. And I like to just some, want something that's gonna be high in protein, uh, gonna be easy to eat. I don't have to spend like forever trying to eat it. So I've just been doing 40 grams of protein uh, of, from Fairlife Milk and then typically like a serving of fruit. And so this is one of those things, like I was saying, you can modify this based on your goals. So they have like fat-free versions, they have 2%, uh, they have the chocolate. And so yeah, it's like, let's say, just to give a, an example uh, scenario, let's say you are you don't have a ton of calories to play with, but you wanna get 40 grams of protein and you wanna have some chocolate. So like what you could do then is you could do like, you know, a majority of it from like this fat-free, um, this one, and then just add in like a couple ounces of the chocolate since it's gonna be about double the calories. This way it's like you're still getting that chocolate taste, but you're getting it for a lot less calories. So that's just one example, or vice versa, if you're someone who like is trying to gain weight and you need the extra calories, well then you could either just do straight chocolate or you could get the 2% uh, Fair Life milk or the whole milk. Uh, and mix that up to get more calories. So that's just an example of, of what you can do with that. And like I said, nothing nothing magic to that for me. I just, I'm not super hungry in the morning right now, and I want something that's gonna give me a lot of protein, a fruit, and then a lot of fluids. Meal number two is a just a really hearty deli sandwich. So it's got just two like high fiber, two pieces of like high fiber bread, and then it's got some deli turkey, pepper jack cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and then mustard. And then I'll, again, I'll normally have a serving of fruit with that. This is just an example of like just a peach. And, and then I'll also do like one of these single serving Greek yogurts. This one is the mixed berry, which is really good. And I do, the reason I really add that is to help bump the protein up just because this gets kind of weird if you just, <laughs> if, if like, if you're trying to get, let's say like 40-ish grams of protein or, you know, 45 or something, that just ends up being like a inch of deli meat, uh, which isn't the most tasty. So I just would rather have like something like that on the side. And then heck, even to like speed up time if you want, you can pre-slice your veggies and like Tupperware them. Like, I mean, I don't like to do like a ton of days in advance because then they, sometimes they're, they don't taste as fresh, but like you could do a couple days and you'll be good. And the third meal. So I have like the recipe for how to make this on my Instagram. I will, in the video, I'll have pop up what day it was published so you can, if you want, you can go back and see how I made this. But these are just buffalo chicken wraps. So I got two wraps here. I got about four ounces of grilled chicken breast. And you can use whatever buffalo sauce you want. This is just one that, that I've used for a long time. I like the taste of it, it's low calorie. So yeah. I'll use that sauce, and then I'll use about an, uh, a serving slash an ounce of blue cheese, and then I'll do some diced celery, shredded carrots, and just whatever lettuce I have. And then, normally I can't fit all the chicken and all the veggies in the two wraps, plus I wanna get more veggies in this meal than just like the little bit that I can fit in this wrap. So what I'll do then is I'll take all the extra ingredients, and I'll make a little side salad, and I'll add some dressing on there or something if I want. If not, the sauce from the from the chicken is enough to flavor it. Either one. And then just like how you how I sometimes will pre chop up my veggies, I'll also like cook. This was just grilled chicken. I'll just 
took up extra chicken and this way it's already ready to go and I can just like cut it up and cover it in the sauce. So yeah, those are those are just three three meals, three sample meals. And like I said again, these are just I don't think that lighting's very good. The uh, they're just meant to serve as templates. So modify them, uh, do things to based on your goals. If you know, find ways to decrease the calories, increase the calories, stuff like the wrap. If you're trying to bump calories up, you could add more cheese. You could add a third wrap. Um, yeah, stuff like that. So I'll see you next time.